I'm Giant Phantom. I talk about all things Phantom. So, I'm a huge, huge fan of Pokemon. So if you are too, hit that button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. I grew up watching the anime, playing the card game, even reading the manga, which I'll discuss in another video in the future. But the anime opening episode, Ash gets his Pikachu traveling down, gets chased by Pidgey, Pidgeys, hops on a bicycle he stole from Misty, find out Pikachu's using his electricity, they pass that home, they go to the Poke Center, Team Maka shows up, tries to steal Pikachu, Pikachu uses the and, you know, fights and protects and everything like that. And that's the real bond between Ash and Pikachu, is the fact that Pikachu saves him from the Pidgey. Because at first, Pikachu wants nothing to do with Ash. Now there's a theory out there, and I don't like this theory too much, but it's the coma theory. The coma theory suggests that the entire story, Ash is in a coma. It apparently happens when they're getting chased by the Pidgeys, and Pikachu uses his extremely electric power to get rid of the Pidgeys. And Pikachu uses such a strong power, such a strong ability, it basically ends up killing him and knocking Ash into a coma. There's also thoughts that when Ash kind of wakes up and sees his brother the Pokemon, it knocks him into a coma. Yeah. I don't like this theory. It just, it takes away from my childhood. You know, just the brother show that I used to love to watch. I don't think this theory is, I don't know. I just feel like the whole coma trope is kind of played out. And I don't like it. You know, wake up from a dream and everything like that. You know, oh. However, one really cool fact is, um, I was playing a ROM hack of Pokemon Red, and in this ROM hack, you basically go through the story of the manga, which is kind of cool. You go through the story of the manga first, and then once the manga is old, you actually find Ash, and you're fighting Ash and all stuff and playing with him, and then he ends up going through this like alternate dimension. You chase him to his alternate dimension, and when you come out, you find out that Ash has been in a coma, and it's like this whole weird alternate dimension thing where Ash is in a coma, and it's basically this theory right here it talks about this happening to Ash and all that stuff and it's a little crazy but it was fun um you also go through like Pokemon 2000 movie and all that stuff it's a, it's a really cool game um so yeah that's all I have for today just wanted to discuss the coma theory and what it was um I personally don't like it. Um, I do plan on making other Pokemon videos in the future. So comment down below if you have Pokemon. What your thoughts are on this theory. Do you think Pikachu used such a fantastic electrical shock that it caused Ash to go into a coma? Or do you think this theory is just... Like I do. Hit that button, hit the subscribe button, hit that join button because you get access to all these cool videos. Plus, there's even a rap song on there about, you know, with a princess. <laughs> Go check it out. Plus, you get access to future videos before anybody else. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. I never get to hang it out. You know, when I first started doing this, I was always like, yeah, over here, over here. And it would be the opposite of what I was doing. Like, I would point here, 
and the video will pop up over there. Yep. Cheers.